Let's go, I feel like a little child in a candy shop. Honestly, this feels, this feels quite risky. <laughs> Let's go. I feel like a little child in a candy shop. Closing, locking garages is also totally overrated here in Monaco. So it's open like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. My first, my first worry is, have you seen how low that is? And I need to get across this. Uh, I need to get across this this ridge here. Shit, man, that is going to be tight like hell. But I guess he's done it before, so it should work. <laughs> Unbelievable! Huh? What a beast! This is an absolute beast. Very careful not to scratch anything. Very, very careful. Ah, ah. Very, very hyper careful with this carbon here everywhere. Igor, if you're completely honest, are you a bit nervous? No, 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 definitely. I mean, what is it, two, 1.5 million or something? <laughs> and uh, no, it's a huge risk. I really, I have a lot of respect, you know, it's a huge responsibility. I'm really thankful that my neighbor is allowing me try, to try this. So a quick explanation. I mean, I've been living in this building here all my life, 30, 36 years. And as long as I can remember, uh, I'm, this is the first garage when you drive into this garage complex here. And I always see this F40 with the open garage. You know, you always see like a corner of the F40. The 200th time that I was driving by here or the 1000th time, I just had the idea, okay, I'm going to go to the concierge. Yeah. I'm going to take a little sticker, I'm going to put it on the door. Hey, I'm your neighbor, I'm Nico Rosberg from a One World Champion. It's on my bucket list. Would, I, would you let me drive your F40 once, you know? And I just stick it on there and then forget about it. Put my phone number and forget about it. And then I actually got a response. So I knew the person, he's like, hey, we met at the pool. Yeah, sure, love, I'd love for you to have a go. Yeah, and so, so awesome, you know, that then I could have a, I could have a go and, and take off my bucket list with the F40 drive. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Whoa! So he's got the option on the car that the suspension automatically raises itself. It was a very late on option and you can just see that after the car switched on, the whole front raised up. So that makes me feel very relaxed now about driving out. Ready? Wow, the clutch is heavy as hell. Where's first gear? Ah, oh, I almost put the reverse in, that was lucky. Okay, so first gear. Okay, we're going well here. We're going well. We're still going well. Here we go. Amazing. <laughs> okay, handbrake is off. Position is up. Woo! <laughs> Driving an F40, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. So I think that really the beauty about these old cars is like, the purity, you know, how you just, you don't have to go so fast to feel vibrations, to feel like the handling, how it's like behaving, the engine, just gives you so much more like feedback, you know, the car, like nowadays the cars are so perfect. Uh, even when upshifting, you know, you can't just like first, bam, second, you need to wait a little bit till the engine revs drop again to the perfect place so that you can put the second gear in just in the right moment, release the clutch, you know, you really got to time it right. And I, I really love that kind of challenge. So at this point in time, I want to know from you, before we go up into the mountain, what is your bucket list drive? Which car? From any time, explain why. I look forward to seeing your answers on that. And uh, as I've said, this is definitely uh, one big take on my bucket list here. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, sh I'm like, I'm in second gear. I can do like, I don't know, I can do like almost 100 miles an hour just in a second gear. So 
at the end of the 80s, uh, Enzo Ferrari wanted to make a rally car out of the 288 GTO, so he created the 288 GTO Evoluzione, but then it got banned by the FIA, that kind of like, that kind of car, that kind of category got banned from racing. And so then for Enzo was like, okay, well, I've got this car now already, might as well make a road car out of it. And then within like 13, 14 months development, he brought out the F40. No one actually saw anything of it before the official presentation. He wanted to make the fastest road car of all time. Zero to 100 in 4.2 seconds, V8 twin turbo, you know. Um, and as light as possible. So 1,350 kilograms, as I say, and even paint, like, I remember on the F1 car, like the paint was something like seven, seven to 10 kilograms. Seven to 10 kilograms is huge. He wanted to build 400 of them. Um, and that was a bit difficult because that's how he first pitched it to potential buyers, you know, but 3,000 people wanted a car. And so eventually he built more than 1,300 of them, which kind of angered a lot of the first buyers as well. Uh, and there was quite an evolution also with the car, like in terms of the, this, this automatic rising suspension. Then there was some, uh, some iterations on the rear cat. But anyways, uh, it's the earlier, earlier cars that are most desirable. Okay, so we've picked quite a nice spot here to show you guys, uh, to show, that's Monaco down there. Show you guys the car a little bit. Pretty damn sick. I absolutely, I love the headlights, huh? The headlights popping up as you saw before, like that is so damn cool. Um, again, plastic to, uh, to reduce the weight, huh? It's not even allowed anymore nowadays. So all that is plastic, not glass. Uh, I think even, no, that's, even that's plexi. Look, even that's plexiglass. That's glass again. Um, and then I think they used carbon fiber as well for the, for the bonnet and the rear, I believe. Um, and then of course the chassis. And it's just so racy on the back, huh? The, the, I mean, it's all open. You can see like super huge cooling for that massive engine, which is right behind your head. The whole, the whole back end is open. Look, everything open for, for maximum cooling. You can see there, maximum cooling. This whole thing is just one little grill. So ready guys, we're going for push mode. Three, two, one. I mean, it's like rock solid, but it is glued to the ground somehow. Like, I mean, and it's so low, you know? I mean, it's like so light, so low, but man, they could have made it a little bit softer. I don't know. It's so solid. Honestly, this feels, this feels quite risky. I don't know if Ruben, you agree, but uh, oh, it feels quite risky. <laughs> so I think you need to be a little bit careful with this kind of thing. Uh, it feels like you're alone with God when you're pushing this. Uh, Ruben, uh, thoughts? Uh, can you take your mask off? <laughs> can you yeah. confirm? Can you confirm that I was pushing? That's insane, man. <laughs> I was like, I'm, li I'm really looking forward to this, but now I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you don't experience it, you don't actually know how much like one drivers or racing drivers can push cars. And then even this one. Yeah, but okay, but there's racing drivers and then there's world champions. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's like a whole different thing. <laughs> Wow, so that is some beast. I mean, incredible feeling really. It was so special to drive. Uh, it really feels like high risk. You know, you're driving there and you're like, oh, 
it. So, so yeah, you do have to be a bit careful because it's so, it's so stiff, like it's unbelievable. It has a lot of grip, but it's so stiff that it's difficult to feel the limit because you're bouncing quite a lot. And when you're bouncing and you're full on throttle, you know, it can suddenly, it can suddenly turbo kicks in, you know, it can suddenly snap. It did feel like you really have to be quite careful, um, but just phenomenal beast. I mean, really phenomenal beast. It was a pleasure. Uh, thank you, dear neighbor, uh, for lending. I took very good care of it, don't worry. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Okay, nice scare at the end there. So I was, I was so focused on lifting the damn car up over the bumps that I missed the red light, which was on the right. So I went straight through a red light. I had to reverse through that whole place, which was not nice at all. That was a bit embarrassing. Idiot. I hope you enjoyed it as well. So Nico, uh, we now also have a special surprise gift for you. It's the one million button. Awesome, awesome. That is so cool. So thank you very much, that's, uh, that's really thanks to all of you, of course, who've subscribed. Huh? Thank you, I hope you've been enjoying the videos. Here's to much more really cool, fun content. Um, and next up is then 10 million, I guess, right? Mm -hmm.